Hello everyone and welcome back to another book review. So today we are going to be talking about this book, A Witch's Notebook by Silver Raven Wolf. Now I know she is a controversial author. You either love her or you don't. <laughs> There's sometimes a little bit of a middle ground. You can agree with some of her things but not all of them. A lot of her more popular books are aimed at a specific age group and I feel like some people might not remember that little detail. Teenagers have a very different mindset than adults. It's facts of life. And so her books aimed at teenagers, especially teenagers in like the 90s and early 2000s, it's gonna be different than even teenagers today really. I don't know how well that is gonna age because it's a different world completely. But this is not one of those. This is not really aimed at the younger generations. This is also not aimed at beginners. So this is fantastic. I loved this book. I like books that are not necessarily so advanced that you had to follow the entire tradition from the beginning to understand what's going on, but it also doesn't constantly have to tell you the little steps. For example, it doesn't go into a lot of detail of what are the chakras? What is visualization? It doesn't tell you that, but it, is, it, it just assumes you know the basics. And so this is a great resource if you were wanting to step out of Wicca 101, Witchcraft 101. And it does, of course, have a little bit more of a Wiccan slant to it. And some people, again, they don't love that. Their witchcraft is a lot more in the gray area, so to speak. And they don't love the love and light and, you know, try and do positivity only magic. And that's fine. Whatever you want to do, you do. But if you do like that, where you're like, you know, the world sucks enough, we don't need to add wars to it. This is a great resource, especially if you're wanting to, again, get out of the beginner 101s, they constantly are explaining every little detail to you. This is a really great resource for you. If you are intermediate to advanced, it has a lot of good information. So each chapter in this is supposed to be worked for about a month or so, and it doesn't go for a full year, which is really nice if, like me, it's really hard to commit to one book for a full year. This is great. You don't have to, you know, waste all of a year just to realize you don't really love a book. It's only a few months, but the exercises are really fabulous. There's quite a few that I've tried and I've really liked them. I haven't tried them all, but the ones that I have definitely have made an improvement and they are ones that I'll be adding into my book of shadows. So each chapter kind of has its own theme with it and some of these are not necessarily things that we've always discussed in like the more advanced books, it's kind of the assumption that you've already learned these things. And not everyone does. Everyone learns differently, especially if you don't have a coven or somebody teaching you directly and making sure you learn the steps in in order, per se. Um, you know, make sure you know how to cleanse, make sure you know how to protect, so on and so forth. And so this book, it's really nice because again, it teaches you things that maybe you didn't know and maybe you haven't tried. And there are still exercises that maybe you've run across before, but it has a nice sprinkling of just a little bit of everything. So again, if you like Silver Raven Wolf's writing style, you will like this book. I personally like her writing style. I feel like it's sort of like sitting down with a friend, but more like the mentor that's just really friendly, like they're still teaching you. And it it's not necessarily like two casual friends, like, drunkenly talking about witchcraft. Like, it's a little more organized than that. Some people like that style where it feels more like a podcast and you're just sitting down chit-chatting. Other people like a little bit more of the academic side of things. And it, this falls somewhere in between that. Like, it's way more on the casual side, but she does, you know, it's just teaching you things. It's not trying to be buddy-buddy with you, which some of her books do have. Again, the ones aimed at teenagers are really more of that vibe, <laughs> and a lot of people don't love that. But I personally really liked this book. It's got a lot of things that I'll be including into my own book of shadows. And so I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Did you like this book? Did you not? Again, this... And it's also not that big of a book either, so I would love to hear what you guys think of this in the comments down below. And if you would like to see book reviews every week, I post those on Wednesdays. And so every single Wednesday there's going to be a new book review up, so maybe click the subscribe button. If you want to support what I am doing, I do have a Patreon where you get extended discussions. Even for this book, I'll be talking about each book and I have, or each chapter, and I have a few um, quotes that I've pulled as well. But every book will always have an extended discussion. And 
And of course, I've got other things going on. We have early releases and I have monthly vlogs. Thank you so much to my patrons who make this possible. And until next time, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all soon.